Right, just had a mess around with my new bits and bobs. I picked up a teapot, I've cut the back handle off so it can slot into it. Uh, I'm using my smallest baby pop uh, mess burner just to have a quick test on it. Let's see if it can do its job. Set this up before I uh, start filming. Well, let's see how it goes. Right, the jet burns have kicked in, uh, which is cool. So I'm starting to get a bit of boil out to just. Well, let's see how it goes. That's the one. With this one as well, unfortunately it's got vent holes under the bottom, so I'm going to fit another plate under the bottom that can be removed or left in. I use the plate, if I'm going to use uh, sticks and such like, you know, hard fuels, I can fill all this area up and feed through there uh, while still cooking on the top, so you've got plenty of surface area for burning. But I'm going to use the plate at the bottom, some people don't like uh, fire cutting through into the ground. Well, I get that, so I'll I stick a plate, but the plate will become a secondary shelf so I can put the pop can slightly higher uh, to a one to two inch gap between that and the cooking vessel that I'm using at the time. Uh, with the natural vent holes it's already got, uh, it saved me a hell of a lot of drilling. Uh, picked up a new tool a couple of days ago, a Dremel grinder. Uh, grinded that all off, that needs tidying up, but it's a two minute job. Uh, I've cut the handle out so it can slot in, and thankfully the handle's far enough away, I'm going to tape this up uh, to not get burnt. But we'll no, see how it goes. Uh, this video is going to be about, uh, I would say, six, six ish minutes to, to get the boil that I want. Uh, but I'd rather show it you from start to finish rather than I normally just show you the highlights of it. Uh, proofs in the pudding as such, you'll see it for yourself. These uh, little pop cans, they're massively effective and if you can create kits around them you've got a very effective cooking system. Uh, hobos, I see all the gas cookers and, and all the other gimmicks that, that are out there there is nothing better than a hobo because when it all goes horribly wrong you'll always find a pack of sticks uh, I think the only problem with this little pop can that I'm using it's a bit chaotic uh, it can't seem to sort its own pressure out and has a tendency to breathe uh, it's hard to explain that meths as such breathes as, as it burns it'll go up and down if you get too much up, you get overflow, you get overflow, it'll burn outwards. Which is not too much of a problem when you're outdoors. Unfortunately, wifey gets really annoyed when I set fire to the dining room. Uh, and it's happened a couple of times, unfortunately. Uh, but it's trial and error with the pop can design, really. Uh, if I was to stick a penny depressor like I sometimes do in that, I have no doubt that would burn over. Uh, the pressure on it is quite huge. Uh, and if you've seen it for the first time, it's actually quite scary because you think, oh god, I'm going to set fire to house again. Uh, which uh, is something I don't do. Uh, I, I do take a certain amount of care when I'm using fire. I have got fire extinguishers on hand. I've also got a system of putting a pop can out in a, in a couple of seconds flat. Uh, if you're going to do it, just be very, very careful. Uh, as I say, I've got my window open. Uh, which is a good and a bad thing. A uh, good thing is testing it against a breeze. Uh, bad thing, it'll blow the flames into your house. Probably not the best thing you could do. Uh, but as I say, I have got all the safety equipment that I could possibly think of to put even meths out. Uh, that's a reassuring sound there. That's telling me the, the water's pretty much boiled. Uh, 
but as I say, it, it's a tiny, tiny pop can in comparison with even a Coke uh, pop can. Uh, so more, you've seen it start to finish, and to be honest, I, I'm learning from this, and I'll see what time this one is, because this is probably the smallest one I've made so far. Uh, but it's more than capable of boiling this, and this, uh, I think it's holding cl close to a, close to a pint and a half, I think. It's quite a chunky monkey. Uh, I picked up both the stand and the kettle for four quid at the charity shop. Uh, <laughs> which, as I say, I've, I've got a, a really good hobo system there. Uh, and it took minimum effort, as I say, just to cut that big square out. That big square allows me to feed in the, the tin, actually fill the tin up as well. Uh, and it's going to be great when I'm, I'm doing the stick burning, because sticks will flow through that with not a problem at all. Uh, well sir, it's doing its thing. I think I must have got an odd batch of meths because it seems to be burning very yellow at the moment. Uh, but hey, it's burning. Uh, so so let, let, let's uh, let it do its thing and see, see what effect it has. But it best hurry up because I need a brew. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be about a 10 to 15 minute burner uh, when I finish with it. Uh, and 10 to, minute, 10 to 15 minutes, if you can't boil up a, a pint and a half, it's not worth having as a meths burner. Uh, but it takes ridiculously small amounts of meths. Uh, and as you can see, it, it's banging out some right flame. Uh, it's only got 12 holes, 12 uh, jet holes in it. A relatively small middle hole and a, a secondary pinhole to allow a bit of pressure to flow a, a bit more evenly and it's going now it's going and it's onto its Aladdin burn right I'll show you the pot can in a second the, the size of the, the feed holes that I use in at the moment they're not big uh, if the bigger you the all, eventually you're going to have to drop a penny depressor in. This gives you an extra few minutes uh, to do its thing. But let's see what we got from that. <clears throat> That's it. Boiling water, about a pint and a half. As uh, the handle's still cool to, uh, to touch, so push that out of the way. Right. Focus, focus, focus. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll focus just with light on it. Let's see if we can get it from that angle. As I said, the all there is pretty small. And it's got a secondary vent all just up there. The pressure, so it allows it to flow round rather than overflow. Uh, Hope it's been useful. That was only around a six minute boiler and it did a pint and a half, which I'd say is quite uh, cost effective. Uh, yeah, I hope you like it. But, uh, simple build. Uh, I'm going to complicate it slightly and make some different bits on it. I'll show it on group and uh, hopefully we'll get a decent elbow out of it.